Hey friends, and happy birthday to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Today it is Earth Day, and it is also the anniversary of the opening day of Animal Kingdom, April 22nd, 1998. So I decided to come out, have a wild adventure, and enjoy the park, and help celebrate Earth Day and its birthday. So, let's go do this. I think it's appropriate that we start off the day right here at the Tree of Life. Even though it's not technically a tree, it is an oil rig, but it's the symbol of Animal Kingdom, and it's the Tree of Life. Since we're gonna be hanging out in Harambe, I know I'm gonna be visiting one of my favorite places to get a drink, the Dawa Bar. And I hear they even have a couple of new drinks that I haven't had before, so that always gets me excited. Here it is, my favorite bar, the Dawa Bar. And the special drink that they have is the Lion's Fury, Red Stack Cherry Whiskey and Tropical Jungle Juice topped with a float of Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey and a Fiery Glow Cube. I'm all in on that. Oh, look at it, it's so pretty. So I think I'm gonna have to mix this one around a little bit because there is the uh, cherry stag in it, but the fireball on top, and I kind of want a, a blend of all of the flavors so that I can get it like in one sip, you know. And I ran into some friends, Triple P. What's up, buddy? What's going on? And then Ryan, cheers, you got the same drink. You already drank yours though, how is it? It's excellent, man. Yeah? It's, it's, it's cinnamon whiskey. Oh, well, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy Animal birthday. Kingdom. <laughs> oh, it's good. No, it really is good. Yeah, I definitely mix it around, I bet. That's probably, that's the trick. That's how to get to the lion's heart. I was calling this the lion's heart for the longest time. It's the lion's fury, I think. But I like lion heart better. I really do enjoy this drink. It's definitely a little bit on the sweeter side, but with, uh, you know, obviously a spicy kick to it. If you like the jungle juice, you'll probably like this drink. But my friend Triple P, who just told me that there is a Earth Day margarita, right? You said that's a, a margarita for Earth Day? It's a Thule. Uh, oh, at Satui. And, and, and then there's a, a gin based drink that's kind of like a Long Island iced tea at Nomad. I think I'm going to need be getting one of those yeah. for educational purposes. <laughs> because it, because it's, you know, Earth Day and it's a birthday. Of course, you got to celebrate. Yeah, that's the only reason why though. For the, course. <laughs> for the people. For the people. <laughs> After hanging out with some of my friends, like I said, Triple P, who has a YouTube channel, and I'll put his channel in the description, he tipped me off that there was a special Earth Day photo opportunity behind the Tree of Life. So I want to go search for that, and plus show you the pathway there, because a lot of people don't explore down there. It's really pretty. But before we make our way over there, I heard another cavalcade coming. Doesn't look like it's any of the rare characters, but it is a cool band. They're jamming out. The we are the Discovery Island. <laughs> she wished me a happy birthday. I probably should have got a happy birthday button. I probably should have got a I'm celebrating Animal Kingdom's birthday, but I'll make sure to pass on all those birthdays to Animal Kingdom. <laughs> this is the pathway that I was talking about that not a lot of people actually come down through. It's a quick way to get from one side of like Harambe over to Asia as well. I do want to try the Mother's Earth like uh, infused drink at Nomad Lounge, but since we just had the Lion's Fury drink, I think we should get something to eat first, and I think I have a good spot. Oh, but the birds are coming in! Oh! I love coming out here just in time for this. This is so amazing, isn't it? Oh, they just come so close to your head. Ah, there they go! Woo! 
I got super distracted by the birds, but we're gonna head on over to Flame Tree Barbecue. Oh, I think they're coming back. Uh-oh. Right here is almost all that they have. They have a honeybee cupcake and a flamingo cupcake, a strawberry cake filled with strawberry compo right here at Flame Tree Barbecue. So I'm gonna order that and then also get myself something to eat. Maybe some ribs and chicken? Last time I was here, they had a Raya Sandcastle. Now it looks like they changed it to the National Geographic Secrets of the Whales. That's really, really nice. One of the best things about eating at Flame Tree Barbecue is they have a lot of seating down by the water so you can stare at Expedition Everest and maybe we can keep an eye out for some of those rare characters on the cavalcades. Not too sure who it is. Now, I've heard Pocahontas, Brother Bear, Flick, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Well, just as I said that, take a look at that. There's Chippendale and Goofy. So we've already seen them, so the other ones should be coming around soon. But also look at that view. I haven't eaten at Flame Tree Barbecue in such a long time, and I'm not too sure why. I love the food here. The ribs are up there as one of my favorite ribs on Walt Disney World property. And now I'm just so happy to be dining here. And plus, we just see a look at the cupcake I got here. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? They keep on giving me these desserts that I don't want to open or cut because they're so pretty. I actually kind of just want to set it in the water and just let it float away. I know that won't happen, but <laughs> it would be pretty. Now I got this decision I need to make because I want to eat the cupcake before it melts. But at the same time, I have ribs, chicken, fries, and barbecue sauce. Now those things don't mix together well, so should I have dessert first or should I eat the ribs and chicken first? It's a tough decision. I think I'm gonna go with the cupcake first. Oh yeah, I'm being real brave here. And I'm gonna be very gentle when I'm opening this cupcake. Oh yeah, nice and easy here. It's so pretty on the inside. Look at this. Oh, this is gonna be great. Say goodbye as I cut right through you. I know that there is strawberry compo in the center, so we gotta show that first. Oh, look at that. Oh, much too good. That's good. Almost like you're eating a strawberry milkshake. Wow. Cupcake check. Now it's time to get down to the ribs and chicken business. Gonna get a little bit of barbecue. I'm gonna put it right there, make it a little bit saucy. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's like I'm massaging the chicken with my fork and knife. That was so good. And guess what? Pocahontas is coming. I have been waiting for them to come this whole time. They're going by so quick though, I can barely get them. Bye, Miko! Back to the rib business though. I saved the best for last, the ribs. Look at these bad boys. I feel like I probably could have gotten a whole rib meal and eaten it, but I did want to try the chicken. The chicken was great, but I love the ribs here. These are my favorite. Look at this. Oh, perfect. Put a little sauce in there. Absolutely amazing right there. Oh, much too good for children. That was great and I got to see Miko again. The ribs and chicken is phenomenal there. Always love it. And the flamingo cupcake was a perfect strawberry like dream. Honestly, it was like eating a strawberry milkshake. That's what I felt. So now I think we're gonna either head on over to Nomad Lounge or also see what the wait times are for like Navi, Navi River Journey because that's a ride I haven't rode in a while but the, the line seems so long. So we'll check it out. Looks like there's a wait for the Nomad Lounge. So I was able to join the virtual walk-up list on my phone. It says it's at a 60 minute wait. So we're on the list. So since we're on the wait list, we're gonna head right into Pandora. And that way we can actually see what the wait time is for Navi River. That's one of the rides, like I said before, I haven't been able to ride in such a long time. 
Well, it says it's only a 30 minute wait, so we might have lucked out here, folks. It's really cool because I'm wearing my Pandora mask and I haven't rode this ride in probably good like three months. For some reason, when I was thinking Earth Day, this ride just stands out to me. I love all of the plant life and the boat ride is one of my favorite boat rides out of all of Walt Disney World. I just love all the bioluminescence that they have and the music, the shaman at the end. It's gonna be a great ride. And then afterwards, we're gonna be able to go to Nomad Lounge and get that Mother's Earth uh, cocktail to help celebrate Earth Day and Animal Kingdom's birthday. Listen to all the wildlife in the woods back there. Oh, I love this smell of Navi River. Kind of has its own distinct smell. All the boat rides have their distinct smell. Pirates smell different than it's a small world. Navi smells different. What's your favorite though? Let me in the comments what your favorite Disney boat ride smell is. I mean, mine has to be Pirates, hands down. Oh, and luckily we got row number one. Ooh, we're going right in. such a great way to I thought we were coming on a head-on collision there I tell you what Navi River really cools you off such a relaxing slow boat ride through the dark I love it I don't know why I don't do it as much as I usually do I think it's because they used to only seat one uh, person per car so that always made the line super long I, I seen it actually longer than flight of passage just because of the social distancing but now they have the plexiglass up so they can seat every row it goes a little bit quicker so i'm happy they started doing that while i'm over here i wanted to check the wait time for flight of passage it's 50 minutes i don't really have time to wait for that because we're going to be going to the nomad lounge soon which i should check to see if they called us yet nope no text yet but we are coming up on that 60 minute time limit so we're gonna head on over there and uh, just get ready but I think I'm gonna go the opposite way up through the Lion King because I got a fascinating story to tell you. If you haven't heard the Festival of the Lion King is coming back in just a couple of weeks they're saying mid-May the show should start back up again and I'm so excited if you guys uh, seen any of my videos from the past I think it was uh, the 20th anniversary I had dinner inside the festival of the lion king like on the show floor with all the animals out and uh it was uh it was a dinner with joe roadie and i'll never forget that it was earth day animal kingdom birthday maybe i'll try to find the clip and uh put it in right now or i will put the link for that video in the description so you can check it out but it was such a fun day such an amazing day Joe, you are the man. Oh, thank you so much. I'm not really the man. I'm the boss of all the people that are the man. That's the way. So, I'm not going to lie, meeting Joe Rohde was probably the highlight of my life. 
between him and Bob Gurr, living legends. They all have pita and bread on them, wonderful linens, and it's cool that you can just sit here. You got Pumba to your right, giraffe behind you. I just want to dive in and eat. <laughs> And I am definitely on Pumbaa's side right here. And I would ride the Kilimanjaro safaris right now. Every afternoon, every afternoon after we'd stopped working, nobody's there, all the equipment is gone, none of the animals had gone in yet, but all the grass is in and it's like four feet tall and all the trees. I just got notification that our table's ready at the Nomad Lounge, so we're gonna head right over there, but there's another cavalcade coming and I think it's Mickey himself. Oh yeah, look at that. They're saying hello. Hi friends. <laughs> look at that. Oh you. Oh, thank you. I like to think every time Mickey points at me, he doesn't point at anyone else. He only points at me, but I know that's not true. I just want to feel a little special. I'm very excited to be going into the Nomad Lounge. Just a couple days ago, I had dinner here at Tiffin's, and you guys could check that video out because it was so much fun. And I ended up eating that Lion King dessert. Unbelievable, one of my favorite desserts I've ever had at any of the parks. So it's good to see what they got going on at the Nomad Lounge now. They do have an option for outdoor seating and indoor seating. I don't know if I get the option since I'm on the walk-up list, but I'd rather wait or drink or eat inside, you know, just to cool off a little bit. Outside's beautiful though, it's a very nice area. Here is a look at the Mother Earth cocktail. This looks so amazing, doesn't it? It's a gin-based uh, drink. I'm not too fond of gin, but the way this is looking and since it is Earth Day, gotta go for it. We ended up actually getting a seat at the bar, which is kind of what I wanted anyway. I love sitting at the bar at places, and right now it's actually hard to do that because for the longest time they wouldn't even let you sit at the bar, but this place is so cozy and fun. I just really like the atmosphere in here, and take a look at the ceiling. Isn't that so awesome? And of course, the main reason that we came here was to try the Mother Earth. And that's exactly what I got, it's right here. Look at this fancy thing. It looks so beautiful. It's not sliding too well, but there it is. <laughs> and like I said, I'm not a big gin drinker, so we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, but, you know, you gotta do it. When it's Earth Day, you gotta go for it. It is definitely a very earthy drink. You can taste the lemon juice and the Thunderbolt tea syrup very strong in there and the gin mixes pretty well with it so if you're a big gin fanatic you probably would enjoy this a lot call me crazy but i think i'm gonna get something to eat i know we just had the ribs and chicken at flame tree barbecue but looking at the menu here i've seen they sell ribs and it's only ten dollars which i thought was a pretty good price so i'm excited to see what they look like double doing it on the ribs today i guess as you can see, they've got some squash soup, beef sliders, those are the smoked pork ribs for $10, a charcuterie, lobster macaroni and cheese, and at the very bottom, the mother's Mother Earth. Look at these bad boys. Holy moly. Now, it's going to be interesting to see which ribs I like better. Is it going to be the Nomad <laughs> Lounge ribs or the Flame Tree Barbecue? They both look amazing. These ones are definitely prettier. That is a tough decision. These ones definitely look prettier, but hands down, gotta go with Flame Tree Barbecue. I think the sauce on them kind of uh, makes a difference. I don't like the sauce so much, but I love how just the, the smokiness of Flame Tree is. And I don't know. Flame tree for the win. These are still very, very delicious though. I absolutely do love them, but in comparison, when you eat two different types of ribs a day, it's really hard to say. One thing that the ribs got going for them that uh, Flame Tree doesn't have, I feel like there's more meat on the bones and the price, $10, you really can't go wrong with that. I mean, it was only four ribs, but that's what you get with the uh, chicken and rib combo, and that was $16. So very, very good on that part, but just the overall better rib, Flame Tree. All I have to say is the ribs, 
the beer and the Mother Earth were so amazing. I love going into the Nomad Lounge and this has been a great day at the park. We're gonna still keep on going and enjoying the rides. I know it, you know, I kind of feel like I, I'm a little bit off pace with my videos today. Like everything is just so much fun and I'm having a great time. It doesn't flow together well because I don't even have time to like kind of plan out the next step. I'm just going with the flow of things and then videoing it. And I'm just, I love it. Absolutely love it. Not too sure when the Kilimanjaro Safari stopped running, but I think I'd like to squeeze that in today. Sometimes they close an hour early. We'll find out when we get over there. We still have a good hour and 45 minutes to go. As soon as we made our way over the bridge, there is a sign that lets you know when the last safari will depart. Right there it is. The last safari is at 7.15 p.m. So it's good to know. You know what I mean? It's important to know. So hopefully what we're going to do is ride Kilimanjaro safaris and then get off and be able to ride Expedition Everest a little bit towards nighttime because Expedition at night is my favorite. It's such a cool relaxing ride through the Forbidden Forest. I love it. Luckily it's only a 15 minute wait though. All day long this ride has been a very long wait and it said 15 minutes but we're walking right on. So lucky. As we sit here and wait for Simba 1, fun fact, when the parks first opened, uh, I came here for cast member previews and did you know you were allowed to take your mask off? Isn't that insane? Like, so when the parks first reopened after being closed, they used to allow you to get in and they'd be like, okay, folks, now you can take those face masks off only because they had the separators on this whole time. And I just think back to like, wow, things have changed drastically. I also asked to sit in the back row because I feel like you have a longer chance to stare at the animals. Oh boy, it's gonna be a little rocky here. <laughs> it's a party in the USA! Wow, first things first, we get to take a real close look at a greater kudo. Look at that right there. That is insane. Oh, looks like we're coming up on some crocodiles. Anybody know why crocodiles are always angry? It's because they got all them teeth and no toothbrush to brush them. Sometimes the animals actually want to cross the street so we have to stand still because they have the right of way. So we could be out here for hours. If there was an animal in front of symbol one, they would not force that animal to move. We could be here for hours. I'm sure they'd send a truck to pick us up though. But right now we're just kind of hanging out here. In Disney, the animals always have the right of way. That's not just on the safari, the ducks, anything. So it's just really cool, just like letting them do their thing. Right there is the world of beasts that was holding up traffic for such a long time. <laughs> like we sat there for a good 10 minutes because of him and I like it, thank you. Wow, look at that, an elephant right behind us. <laughs> What's he doing back there? Something cool. We're gonna be able to go over the squeaky bridge. I don't know if it does the effects anymore. Oh. No effects, that makes me so sad. It usually makes like this really tight, like creepy noise, like we're about to fall. Oh wow! Oh wow, look at the lions up there. Wow. From the day we arrived on the planet. <laughs> wow. That was really awesome to be able to see the lions up close like that. Normally they're sleeping, and now we get to come up on the newest like exhibit, the goats. Oh. Where are they at? The goats are gone. <laughs> the goats are missing. Please, if anybody knows what happens to the goats, please let me know. I'm, I'm very concerned. The safari is a long attraction. So we have just about under 40 minutes to get over to Expedition Everest. I think we're gonna make it. 
just about everything over in Africa closes a half an hour before the park closes. So mostly everything shut down. Now we're just gonna make our slow walk over to Expedition Everest and try to catch kind of like a sunset ride, hopefully. I mean, the sun doesn't set till like 7.40 and it's still pretty bright out. I know I said it was a slow walk, but we're really cutting it close. Luckily, we're coming up on Everest though. It's just so beautiful out. So like when the park is this empty, I just like to stop and look around a lot because you get to like just witness everything. Look at that. This is what I was talking about. I just keep on stopping and staring because it's just so beautiful over here. 7.54. Now, I guess I didn't rush as I thought I would be. I mean, we actually made it here in plenty of time. We could probably just sit out here for another like four minutes and still get in. <laughs> yeah, five minute wait. Look at that. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's not my birthday, it's Animal Kingdom's birthday. Honestly, if we just waited a little bit, we could be the last ones to ride Expedition Everest tonight. Like, it's that empty in here. I think I might do it. I mean, it's only two minutes until they close the queue. I don't want to be the last person to ride, but it'd be nice to just be on the last train. I just kind of feel fancy. Look at this. This reminds me of uh, Tiffin's Restaurant. 7.58. No one's coming behind us yet, though. Literally looks like it's just us. Folks, you got this? Welcome. <laughs> I should work here. Last train. Woo. A great way to end the night here happy birthday animal kingdom i hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed making i had such a fun day today just having a great day at animal kingdom and celebrating its birthday and celebrating earth day i wish there were some things i could do like going to rafiki's planet watch and i missed a couple photo opportunities because they stopped at three o'clock but i still had an amazing day can't go wrong anywho's i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye if you guys suck around to the end, here's a little sunset for you I think you might like. One thing has always led to another here, and Bambi was no exception. The wildlife scenes in this research yielded an unexpected dividend. An idea for a new motion picture series we called The True Life Adventure. Um.
Hey!